<laughs> Are you happy? Welcome back to Bursts of Sunshine. It's Ashley and today we are going to do an Easter video and it's kind of going to be a little bit different than my usual videos. I am a part of some mom Facebook groups and I've noticed a lot of moms in some groups are like, hey, what are you guys putting in your baby's Easter baskets? I don't know what to put in an Easter basket for like a little baby. I decided I would just do a quick video to share what I'm putting in Rosie's Easter basket for her first Easter. This is what I put in my seven month old baby's Easter basket for her very first Easter just to give you some ideas and of course everything in the basket will be linked in the description below they are not affiliate links I'm not making anything off the links I'm just letting you know where I got everything so links below to where all the items can be found let's show you guys what's in my baby's Easter basket Alright, so if you've watched my intro, then you've probably seen already what it kind of looks like from a rough view. You've probably already got a quick idea of a few of the things that are in here, but there are some things in here that you can't see. Starting with, let's start with the front, shall we? Sunglasses. Um, we recently took a trip to Dollywood and she did not like the sun in her eyes, so I decided to get her some sunglasses. I got this pair at Walmart for about $4, and they're actually, I think, made for toddlers, but I got a baby with a big head, so it's okay. Found after I bought the Walmart pair at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So these are just another little white pair with pink and bluish looking flowers. Since she's only seven months old, I kind of just went for things that we would use or that she could use or that she needed. Or there are a couple things here just for fun, but for the most part, I feel like I tried to go for things she could use because I didn't want to waste a bunch of money on useless toys and useless candy that she don't even need. So with that said, let's move on. Next, we have some teethers because my child is teething. She has two teeth, her two front bottom teeth, so she is teething. So I bought her these teethers. Here's the pacifier clip from Amazon. And it's like just white and pink and purple and it's got a little plastic clip and you hook this part to the pacifier and it's like a silicone rubbery so she can teeth on it. And it comes in a pack of two, so I hooked the other one to one of these coffee cup teethers, which also come in a pack of two on Amazon. And it's also like a rubbery silicone, and I'm addicted to like coffee, so I thought this would be really cute for her so she could have her own little coffee. So I'm going to give this one to her just like for around the house to play with, like to chew on and stuff. And then of course this is going to have her pacifier hooked to it. So I took the second one of each. And I can buy them. So while we're out traveling or going to the doctor or going to the store, um, she has just a separate from her pacifier. I can't grab it. Separate from her pacifier, just a little teether that can hook to her. So I got these off of Amazon. All of these. All of this. All of these come from Amazon. So links in the description below. I'm not, affi not affiliate links because I don't know how to do that. So since we're talking about teethers, let's go to our next teether, which is this pearl necklace. Now, it has a little bit of fur on it, which I'll have to clean before I give it to her because I had it around her bunny's neck. But this pearl necklace, I actually got off of Etsy. And the reason I got it is because she has a pearl bracelet. So she has this bracelet already that she got at our baby shower. And it's from, I think, LA Baby. And I'll even link them too, even though this isn't a part of this haul. But if you want to get a teething bracelet, she loves this. And it looks super cute because it looks like pearls. And again, it's that silicone rubbery like material. So I just got this matching. It's also the rubbery silicone shiny pearls. So that way she can wear pearl necklace when she wears her pearl bracelet. And I did try it on her because this one's supposed to hang low enough that she can teeth on it and I wanted to make sure it fit her and it did fit her really good. She did chew on it and enjoy it while she had it on and it's just super cute. I've heard a lot about these and I know there's some controversy again about babies with jewelry but I had seen a lot of moms and these mom groups use these and I thought they'd be worth a shot and it is just an amber teething necklace and it has like the safety clasp where you can just pull it off and it is knotted between every stone which I really like so that way if it gets broken there's not going to be like beads falling everywhere and be dangerous for the baby to swallow. There's a knot in between every single stone and it comes with this little certificate of authenticity that it is Baltic, authentic Baltic amber 
and I got this from Etsy from a shop called Amber Gift Baby and I just really think it's really cute. The standard size is 12 inches but since I have a little chunky monkey I did opt for 12 and a half inches. This one is not supposed to be long enough where they can chew on it. This one is supposed to be shorter, not choking them tight, but shorter so she can't get it like in her mouth uh, to chew on it because these are not chewable these are stones and if you want to know about amber necklaces and how it's supposed to work and stuff you can google it but if the stones are supposed to have some type of um i'm not going to say chemical but i guess it's kind of like that that's supposed to soak into the skin as like a natural pain reliever which is supposed to help teething babies not experience so much discomfort if that count if that means anything but on another note they're super cute i've seen lots of babies wearing them in pictures and they are adorable um again supervised when they're wearing this not wearing it to sleep or anything crazy like that always going to be supervised when she's wearing this but i thought it would be worth a little shot because she is teething right now and teething babies are a terror of course um with any easter basket you have to have a bunny so i did just get her her first little easter bunny and i kind of went with purple just because I, I tend to always get pink things and i kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit and i just got this bunny at walmart the bow doesn't come with the bunny it just comes like this now on the bunny you may have seen this beautiful hair bow in her basket just this hair bow this hair bow this hair bow this hair bow and this hair bow but i thought these would be cute little easter bows and these come from a little shop called little lopers and i will leave the link in the description below and like one woman is like whipping these bows out left and right and they are just so perfect this one's one of my favorites check it out how gorgeous I'm a little bit obsessed and like look how cute I mean she, of course I'm not gonna be wearing it she is but they're just the perfect little bows again I'll leave a link in the description below to the website where you can order these they're gorgeous so she is getting one two three four as of right now five but if her other ones come in time she will be getting seven hair bows in her basket bow drop Easter bunny ears and this is not really much for her basket but just kind of if she wants to wear them on Easter day and play with them because they were cute and they were only a dollar at the Dollar General so and now um with Easter fashion we have to have a chocolate bunny so I did just get a basic Russell Stover's chocolate bunny it's not Easter if you ain't got a chocolate bunny and no I'm not trying to get my kid addicted to chocolate and sugar but it's Easter and now um, she's to a point now where she kind of just licks everything <laughs> when she's eating things she just kind of so I thought it would be really cute to give her some suckers but you know with standard suckers they have the little sticks that can poke an eyeball out the sticks can like get soggy and break if they get too wet and like the little dum-dums are small I feel like they're choking hazards I just don't want no part of that so I opted for ring pops because the suckers are actually bigger themselves so she won't be able to like cram the whole thing down her throat she'll pretty much only be able to lick it and I figured the little rings work as cute little handles for babies so if you don't want to give your little baby a stick sucker but you want them to kind of have a sucker um, I feel like ring pops will be a good way to go we haven't given her one yet but I got this pack for a dollar. It's a pack of four. I don't remember where. Walmart maybe. Um, Walmart, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. They probably all sell these. But it was just a dollar for pack of four. Um, it looks like it's got some different flavors. Watermelon, strawberry, and blue raspberry. She's going to share these with her mama because I like ring pops. I found this at the Dollar Tree and it's just like a little puzzle. And it's got the colors and the numbers. And I kind of thought I wanted something kind of sort of educational. Um, and it's just like foam. So she's not going to like hurt herself with it or anything but it's just got numbers and shapes and colors and it's just a little puzzle I thought it'd just be a good little educational thing for her to work on putting the puzzle pieces together and I can go over her numbers with her and all that kind of fun stuff so this was just a dollar at the Dollar Tree and it's just kind of because I had to add something a little educational in there and lastly this isn't exactly I guess Easter related but I really wanted to get her one and I don't I mean what else do you put in babies Easter baskets clothes I don't know so I got this from TJ Maxx actually. So yeah, it's from Little Me. So, and oh, there's a website, littleme.com. So it's a little swim um, suit. It's not like a bathing suit. It's kind of like the little surfer suits almost. It's got UPV, UPF 50 plus on it. It's got UPF 50 plus for like protection from the sun. Um, and it's that quick dry material. 
and it's just got a cute little flower and this cute little floral. She's gonna look like a little surfer baby, but we're from Kentucky, so we don't surf or ever have ever even been surfing. But I mean, I'm all about protection from the sun, so I just thought this was super cute. That's it. That's everything that's in my baby's Easter basket. Again, she is seven months old, so there's not like a lot of toys because she's really kind of just getting into toys. So I just thought I would share with you guys what I put in my baby's Easter basket in case you needed some ideas or was just curious or was just being nosy. I don't know. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see next because I never know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. Just winging it through life. So um, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I post mommy videos. I post DIY videos. I post cake videos. I post videos just me posting videos just to just to do it. I don't know. So uh, that's it, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.